With the rise of superbugs and increased rates of cancers, humanity is struggling to find solutions to its ever-evolving medical needs. For example, while the number of people being infected by antibiotic-resistant bacteria is increasing, the number of new antibiotics being discovered is decreasing year after year. If this trend continues, we could easily end up in a post-antibiotic era where a simple scrape in your knee could lead to an uncurable infection. To combat this, we're turning to Mother Nature for help. Over 60% of the medicines we use today are derived from natural sources. In our search for the medicines of the future, we are exploring the deepest, darkest depths of our oceans, where Ireland's richest biodiversity is kept secret. And it's here, at a depth of 1.2 kilometers in some of the most extreme environmental conditions in the world, that cold water coral reefs flourish. The conditions at these depths are so extreme, we have to use a state-of-the-art robotic submarine the size of a minibus to collect our samples. And when I say extreme conditions, I mean it's pitch black, with terrifyingly low levels of oxygen, and the water temperature is the same as your fridge. Not only is it cold, dark, and hard to breathe, but the pressure at these depths is so great, it's the equivalent of having 20 elephants standing on your head. And even with these harsh conditions, cold water coral reefs are some of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world, rivaling that of the Great Barrier Reef and even the Amazonian rainforest. In this one picture alone, there are hundreds of unique species, ranging from corals to sponges, from starfish to sea fans, all of which have adapted over millions of years to thrive in this unforgiving environment. This abundance of biodiversity results in high levels of competition, and this competition plays out in the form of chemical warfare. My aim is to isolate these chemical weapons, which we can then utilize in our own fight against microbes and cancers. Take, for example, this two-meter-tall trumpet sponge. If you look closely at its surface, there are these tiny yellow dots. Each of those yellow dots is a coral growing on the sponge. This can negatively affect the sponge, so in a response, the sponge and its microbiome produce toxic compounds to kill the corals. And in a response to that, the corals produce their own toxic compounds to kill the sponge. These compounds can be developed into anti-cancer therapies and new antibiotics. The incredible biodiversity that the deep sea has to offer has created a fantastic library of natural molecules which we can develop into our future medicines. Thank you.